Well, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam is clinging to office. He is refusing to step down among increasing calls for him to resign. He's been under fire since Friday after a controversial photo surfaced. Take a look. This picture from the governor's 1984 yearbook page during his time at Eastern Virginia Medical School. It shows two men, one in blackface and the other dressed in a KKK robe. Now first, Northam apologized, and then less than 24 hours later, he changed his story. So we want to know if you think Governor Northam should resign. Let us know at 13newsnow.com slash vote. Now last night, he held an urgent staff meeting. 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson is at the state capitol with an update. Evan, it's been a busy weekend for the governor. Yes, Dan, it absolutely has. And the question now is, will that private meeting that was held last night lead to any action today or later on this week? We have confirmed that the governor met with top staff members and Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax in that private meeting last night. Now, remember, Justin Fairfax would be next in line to assume the position of governor if Governor Northam were to resign. But we don't know the details of that meeting or what's to come of it. Up until this point, Governor Northam has insisted he will not resign, even with increasing dissent from both parties. He seems to be taking the situation day by day and assessing it with each new dawn. Here in Richmond, both the state Democratic and Republican parties have called for his resignation. Northam denies being in the yearbook photo, even though he had apologized for it Friday and Saturday in a news conference. Northam admitted he had used blackface for a different costume that same year in 1984. I did participate in a dance contest in San Antonio in which I darkened my face as part of a Michael Jackson costume. Some party leaders on both sides say this just amplifies why he should resign from his position. And this is already affecting government here at the Capitol. There are protests and rallies planned for today and increased security around the Capitol and the campus here. Reporting live in Richmond, Evan Watson for 13 News Now. Evan, thank you for that. Now, there have been several calls for the governor to step down, many of those calls within his own party. And Christina joins us now with some of the reaction we're hearing from lawmakers. Well, Dan Ashley, lawmakers from across the country and here in the Commonwealth are weighing in. So first, starting with this, Senator Tim Kaine tweeted in part saying, quote, I no longer believe Governor Northam can effectively serve as a governor of Virginia. He should step down and allow the Commonwealth to begin healing. Then we're moving to this. Congresswoman Elaine Loria tweeted saying, I asked Governor Northam to resign. This isn't about politics. This is about what is right and wrong. And finally, we have former President Vice, uh, Pre Vice President Joe Biden, I should say, tweeting this. There is no place for racism in America. Governor Northam has lost all moral authority and should resign immediately. Justin Fairfax is the leader Virginia needs now. Of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on social media and bring you updates as we get them. Back to you guys.